Hello everyone, welcome. This is Jensen Vars. Um, I'm recording from my laptop, so my sound is going to suck a bit, so sorry about that. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the setup I worked on the last uh, week for playing solo RPGs. Uh, it's quite a setup. I admit it's complex, it takes a lot of effort. But if you're into playing around tools, then it might be fun, uh, a fun journey. And it's about using Obsidian. Obsidian is a um, basically markdown text editor. That's uh, well, it falls short to say that it's you kind of can write uh, what's called a vault, and in there you can link your notes, create categories, text um, files, text notes, link them together. Uh, it's basically a complex compendium uh, tool. So, so it's, it's fantastic for world building and it's fantastic for keeping up notes. And at the same time, it's really powerful through its shortcuts. So this is going to be our main tool. Um, the Obsidian is free to use, but you can pay if you want to have cloud support. I'm using the free edition and I am saving the vault on my mega cloud drive so it's basically sync uh, with the cloud so I can access these files uh, from my phone or anywhere actually Obsidian works in many platforms including Linux, Android, Windows, Mac OS of course and uh, it has community plugins and um, I'm making a setup to play solo entirely on this platform with two main plugins let's say three one is Excalibur, uh, it's a whiteboard tool. So if you saw my previous video, I talked about using Miro for playing RPGs, like a freeform method. This is an alternative, a free alternative actually. A dice roller for Obsidian and Spatso. So I'm not going to bore you now, I'm going to actually show you what I did. And um, the RPG system for a reference starts without number. And I'm going to go through a few things I did for game preparation using these tools. Auxiliarly, I'm using Ocular for PDF. Uh, so here's where I have, a, well, the RPG book open for Stars Without Number. And um, this is going to be very helpful because Ocular PDF Reader has a area selection, text selection, table selection, so you can quite easily extract images text from it. So for example, area selection, let's say you want to take, you know, stars without number has many tables. So you can zoom in, select it, and then uh, you can do copy to clipboard and it's going to copy this as an image, this section. It's really powerful because you can keep the quality as you see it. Uh, you can also save the images to file. So this is, you're going to see I'm doing it a lot. Um, so for example, I have created a templates folder where I put my stars without number character sheets templates, basically they are blank and you're going to notice where did I paste the images from the character sheets. I did with thin Excalibur, which is the other plugin. It would be like Miro, like a whiteboard. Um, where if you press T, you're going to be able to add names. Oops, I'm writing in white. Uh, you, you're going to be able to add text, quite free form, whatever you want. It's really, really cool. Um, but yes, this template represents, as you can see, um, sheets that I have ready. I have also done it for a bunch of random tables from the book. I pasted them in Excalibur note pages within Obsidian so I can access them quite quickly. So if I do Control shift f I'm going to open the search and let's say I'm going to look for uh, my cheat sheet so I can quickly find my Excalibur page with the reference I took from the book as I showed you with Ocular. How did I use this? 
basically, uh, well, you'll see the interface is pretty much clear. I'm going to let you explore, play around with that. But I have a folder called PCs where I created my character sheets. For example, this is Carol Alec. Uh, she's a physician. She's basically a future sci-fi medic. And uh, you see, I'm using Calidra, uh, X Calidra to write on top of the character sheet. It's quite uh, interesting. You, if you learn to use it, it's very fast actually. Uh, you can just press T, as I said before, add some text here, uh, resize it, move it, uh, reformat it, and uh, you can even add things like well, free and drawing, or even uh, linking things together with nice arrows. So it's quite powerful. I love this one. I am, I think I'm going to play around with it. And to create the characters, I have used the other plugin, the dice roller. So it adds a panel to roll dice. So for example, for the stats, I had to roll 3d6. I could say formulas here, but let's say press three times on the d6 and press roll. I'm going to roll 3d dice. And it's going to save this result over here. So I could easily write it down on the sheet right away. This is extremely nice because this now becomes like a pseudo virtual tabletop. Of course, if you compare it with a Foundry BV, it has a different objective. So Foundry is a lot more about tactical combat, maps and vision. And uh, of course, it's great because you can automate a lot of the mechanics, but playing in Obsidian is more around narrative writing playstyle or more hands-on as if playing on a real table. Uh, on Obsidian itself, uh, it's a markdown editor, I'm not going to explain it, but it's quite powerful. Uh, you can do things like tables very easily. Title 1, Title 2. And uh, you're going to be able to create very easily tables in text format. So, of course, it takes practice. Um, then with Control E, you switch between edit mode and uh, Q mode. And you can e very easily link things together. So, let's say, oops, yeah, you can also mess up very easily. But uh, you can link things together, like uh, make a reference of a different article. And uh, and it's also going to be able to show you a graph of the links between the pages you have. Of course, I'm just starting, but I think it's pretty awesome uh, because as you grow your world, you're going to link things together and you're going to be able to easily find their references. And. Um, yeah, this is about it. I don't want to take a long time, but this is the basic setup. I mostly am doing this video, so I share this setup with you. Uh, there's much more to it. For example, the sector. Um, I put an image, an X color draw, and I draw a sun, and the planet where I'm going to play around. So as you can see, it's really cool how you can uh, mix in text and images in free form with uh, these plugins and uh, you can write down things all around use links and uh, well it takes some practice I'm not an expert yet but I think the setup is pretty cool and last but not least with a programming mindset I have used it, um, a tool called Espanso I wrote some Python plugins so this is basically how I'm going to play because the sponsor what it does is replace a command that you write with an output and the way I'm going to use it is actually going to make an example here I'm going to use the oracles from mythic right away so for example is the lore of the evil faction present and then I'm going to add colon fc for fade check 
and that's it I get the answer I can also ask an action question with AC and I get an action right away so I've done this with a bunch of macros I'm going to use this took me quite some effort uh, it's a quite a bunch of amount of lines in this so but it allows um, to achieve this result so in combination with the dice roller Espanso for these macros and Excalidraw I think I've got a pretty cool setup um, but yeah not, not easy not easy to get there what I want uh, but once it's set up it's probably a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to playing with it and uh, the good thing is it's, it's synchronizing with the cloud file so I'm not going to lose these files, hopefully. Well, let me know what you think. Uh, looking forward to hear your thoughts. This was rushed, of course, um, but I'm interested. If you like this, let me know and subscribe. Bye bye.